What is going on everybody, this is Del Hank here and today I'm bringing you guys a video. I'm going to be ranking the Christopher Nolan movies. I'm so excited to do this video because Christopher Nolan is like my favorite director. And um, you know, I feel like his movies are just different from any other director's movies. And I feel like they're like always original and they're always just grounded in realism. And um, I absolutely love them. They're always complex have really good stories to them so um i'm gonna be ranking the top 10 christopher nolan movies so let's get into this this became irresistible so you followed women i followed anybody i just wanted to see where they went what they did it was supposed to just be completely random you would never follow the same person twice that was the most important rule that was the one that i broke first that's when the trouble started so coming at number 10 we're gonna have the following um while the plot is not very strong in my opinion um to this movie it's a very old movie too so um i didn't watch it when it first came out but i watched it um pretty recently um but i think the mystery of the movie really drives the interest of the movie and I think being Nolan's first film it kind of set the tone for um, how complex and original his films will be in the future and um, I thought there's decent acting by um, most of the uh, most of the cast and um, I think there's some good scenes some powerful parts and um, I gave this a 76 so, let's get into number nine. Come on. No, I can't do it. <laughs> How'd you like that? <laughs> How'd you do it? Magic. I'll perform this feat in a manner never before seen by yourselves or any other audience anywhere in the world. The audience loved it. This trick is top notch. You need to celebrate. So coming at number nine, we're going to have The Prestige. I think this is a great and artistic film. It's complex and has very good performances by Bale and the ensemble. Um, I thought it was really kind of a unique thing where they talk about the man when it's based around a magician and kind of these incredible acts that he does. But um, there's a lot of complex narratives underneath it and subplots between uh, all the different characters and they really tie in uh, really good and I thought this was a great film and I give this an 85 How do you know my name? The world is too small for someone like Bruce Wayne to disappear Your parents death was not your fault My parents deserve justice I cannot let that pass if you make yourself more than just a man, then you become something else entirely. Which is a legend, Mr. Wayne. So, coming at coming at number eight, we're gonna have Batman Begins. This is an amazing star and origin story for Batman, and it featured a great villain played by Liam Neeson, and the story and character development for Batman and the others are amazing. This really set the tone for the Dark Knight trilogy, which it featured a, a grounded, realistic uh, Gotham City and Batman character that wasn't too over the top and was powered by great performances by Bale, obviously. And um, it was a very simplistic uh, approach to Batman. Instead of adding these huge action sequences, it was kind of a, a grounded and crime drama um movie and i gave it an 89 doing me here killing changes you it's like awareness who am i speaking to can't sleep well he will talk so getting in at number seven we're gonna get to insomnia now this is an incredible crime drama with brilliant acting um, and it's full of great twists and turns. Um, it's it's a very much movie 
um, just based on the context of what the character is going through, where you you're kind of put in the place of the main character, where he doesn't have um, as much knowledge on the situation, and um, you kind of learn all the information with him, and so it creates a a very good connection with the movie and um <laughs> the movie will make you a little tired not because it's boring but just because uh just watch the movie but um i gave insomnia a 90. it's an indian surveillance drone solar sails power an entire farm what'd you do murph no she didn't do nothing murphy's law you're a well-educated man coop and a trained pilot and an engineer so getting into number six here we have interstellar now to start this this movie is driven by a hauntingly good score by hans zimmer and it's a great emotional journey of a father trying to save the human race and see his daughter again great performances by matthew mcconaughey and anne hathaway brilliant special effects and a good main plot but mainly th just the emotion, um, especially some incredible scenes like the scene where uh, Matthew McConaughey's character Cooper is um, coming off the planet for the first time and it took like 21 years and um, he's watching like the recordings of his daughter and just seeing them age, seeing everything they went through and I don't know, it's a, it's a chilling performance by Matthew McConaughey and it's an incredibly incredibly put together scene and it's just amazing. So I give Interstellar a 91. So let's get into uh, number five. Thing you should know about me. I specialize in a very specific type of security. Subconscious security. You're talking about dreams. Mr. Carl has a job offer he would like to discuss with you. Any kind of work placement? Not exactly. We create the world. So number five is going to be Inception. Now this movie has incredible writing and a plot with a very complex narrative that really makes viewers think. Complete with a flawless score by Hans Zimmer and a great performance by Leonardo DiCaprio. And a great cliffhanger that leaves people talking till now to still figure out what happened. This movie has incredible good set pieces, but it's still grounded in realism like all of Christopher Nolan's films. And um, it's just a journey. You gotta really try and keep up with the um, complex story. And... Um, this movie is maybe not for everyone because not everyone will want to really pay attention. But um, I gave Inception a 92 and it's absolutely amazing. I love it. So, let's get into number four. I will protect you and I haven't. The mayor's going to dump him in the spring. Really? Mm-hmm. But he's a hero, a war hero. This is peacetime. You think this can last? There's a storm coming, Mr. Wayne. You and your friends better batten down the hatches. Because when it hits, you're all going to wonder how you ever... So, number four is going to be The Dark Knight Rises, which came in with a 93... The end of an era where Batman owned it, <laughs> owned it, where Batman owns the superhero scene and also invited non comic book fans just by being inc a incredible movie by itself. The incredible performances by Bale and Tom Hardy as Bane. Oh my gosh, anyone that says Tom Hardy, anyone that says Bane played by Tom Hardy was not good or a disappointment led by. Heath Ledger's Joker is just absolutely fucking insane. And even though Batman's screen time is limited, 
this movie is so amazing to watch it's a journey across a lot of d different like moods there's moods where you're trying to rise to the challenge then you fall and then it's just about getting back up and um it's got a good moral to the movie and like i said batman and the dark knight rise is absolutely fucking amazing i love it let's get into number three amnesia no 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 no. it's different from that i have no short-term memory i know who i am i know all about myself i just since my injury i can't make new memories everything fades i've told you this before haven't i what's the last thing that you do remember my wife dying my wife deserves vengeance Doesn't make so number three is going to be memento one, this is an incredible revenge drama. It's a sad story um, about a guy's wife that dies, and he's basically trying to piece everything together. It's a complex narrative with great performances uh, by Guy Pierce and some others, and I just absolutely love this movie. It's a, kind of an old one. I didn't watch it when it came out, uh, but I've gone back, looked back and watched it, and it's, uh, it brings chills to me. It's such a good movie. But Memento came in with a nine. The enemy tanks have stopped. Why? Why waste precious tanks when they can pick us off from the air like fish in a barrel? There are 400,000 men on this beach. Ninety-four. So, let's get to number two. So number two is going to be Dunkirk. A thrill ride that kept me on the edge of my seat. A hauntingly realistic depiction of the Dunkirk evacuation. With no real character development, which is a flaw for most people I know but I think it allows more focus to be on the event itself and brings tension through brilliant sound work and cinematography and people that say there isn't enough character d development yes I know but that's not the real focus of the movie the real focus of the movie in my opinion is to showcase the brilliant acts of bravery uh, by the normal citizens to come over into a war-torn area with the enemy, the Germans, all around them and evacuate hundreds and thousands of soldiers. It's absolutely incredible. And it keeps you, keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole fucking time. So Dunkirk came in with a 96 and it's just an absolutely amazing movie. I love it. I'm about to go see it again. <laughs> it's just a, a thrill ride. I absolutely love it. So let's get to number one. I mean, what happened? So what are you proposing? It's simple. Kill the Batman. <laughs> Here's my card. Bruce, this is Harvey Dent. Rachel's told me everything about you. I certainly hope not. So number one, what else could it be? The Dark Knight incredible performances by Bale and Heath Ledger you guys already know about Heath Ledger's Joker it's been like written in stone it, like it was a performance for the ages like it will never never get old or be forgotten um, it has amazing and interesting plot incredible and grounded action sequences in the best superhero movie, Nolan movie, and one of the best movies ever made. This movie is absolutely incredible. I love it so much. I can rewatch it as many times as I want and never gets old. Absolutely amazing. 
So that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys didn't all enjoy the video. If you guys want to rank Christopher Nolan's movies down below in the comment section below. If you want to, that would be great. I'd love to see what you guys think. If you guys want to know, uh, if you guys want to see more of these type of videos where I rank certain movies or ranking anything, be sure to let me know. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.